Okay, wasn't really planning on doing a video on this, but uh, here's my oscilloscope that wasn't working. It's the Tektronix 465B, and it is really, really old. It's about 41 years old. And up until a few years ago, it was working fine. I kind of stored it for a while, and when I went to go use it again, the symptoms, it partially lights up, you can hear the high voltage in the CRT kick in with the static and whatnot, but you have no signal at all going to this. The beam finder doesn't work, nothing. So I finally decided to open it up and I will first of all say, holy crap, this thing is just jam packed. Like just in insane. Uh, so anyway, I uh, went through, there's these uh, test points here, just to start. And this has a plus 15 volt, plus 55 volt, plus 110 volt, and then a plus 5 and a minus 8 rail. And just a quick checking, all of the rails were working except the minus 8. So I downloaded the service manual and started going through. And immediately it led me to this fuse. Uh, which was, you can, oops, you can obviously see there, a little blackened. So I just jumpered it with a 5 volt fuse, as you can see. Spoiler alert, this one's blown. And it powered up momentarily. And I got a picture on here, went, oh, okay. Maybe there's something just on the edge. And the next time I went to go power it on, the first time it was on for a couple minutes, nothing seemed to be getting very warm. Second time, boom, pop that fuse. Lovely fireworks. So I've gone as far as checking the, uh, well here, let's go over to the schematic. So here is the uh, negative, let me scroll over. Here's the negative eight volt rail. And when I went through and metered, I'm noticing that it's shorted across this capacitor. Now, it could be the capacitor, or it could be something in the bridge rectifier. One of these diodes is shorted. Online, they were saying that this has been known to fail as it was under spec, but this is also a 40-year-old electrolytic capacitor, so could be either or. I don't really see anywhere else that this thing could be shorted. I needed to interject here. Uh, I was able to get in and meter this bridge rectifier. The two blue pads here are going to the transformer, and then this one goes through this fuse. So if I go from the, the side of the fuse, which is the side going to the rectifier, and then that lower blue pad, that'll give me the AC pins. And then on top, you can see that's positive. That runs to the center pin of the capacitor. And then I can just pick any of these uh, shield pins for ground, which I, I double checked, but it's real difficult to kind of wedge um, a probe in there. I was using a little trick with a alligator clip and a resistor to kind of prod in there. Once I verified that was all correct. Uh, metering, I can see all the diodes are, like I can see the drop on the, all the diodes within here. Of course, if I go either direction, it's going to show one of the diodes because it's shorted over here. So the positive and negative are tied together, but nothing is directly shorted with no drop. So I don't think it's the rectifier. I, I'm starting to really think that it's this capacitor. Both of these, removing them is going to be absolutely brutal. Just a nightmare. The capacitor has four posts. The ones kind of in the outward triangle here are all tied to the can and then the center would more than likely be the positive. Uh, I'll have to double check that, but either way, yeah, I believe, believe that would be the positive lead. And uh, desoldering this is going to be an absolute nightmare. This was easy to do. These I'm having to heat up to the point where I'm starting to see the trace lift off the board. And if I want to remove this, I have to desolder it from the other side. And there's all these interconnectors between these boards, I'd have to remove this board. I think in order to remove this board, I'll have to remove this faceplate. And all these uh, wires are tied directly to the power connections on the back here. 
So I could pull this off, but then the screw for the other side is on the other side, so this won't easily come off. This whole thing is just very difficult to work on, and the service manual doesn't have any useful information as to like, oh, you want to work on this board? Remove this piece, then remove that. So I think I've at least narrowed it down to what component could be bad here, and both of those are easy to find. It's just... Uh, I'm almost tempted to just... See, if I remove this, it's destructive. Because I'll remove it from this side and I'll cut it away and I can solder a new one on the back side here. But that means if I remove this and it's okay, I've destroyed it. And this thing removing is just... I don't know. I feel like if I try and desolder it, I'm going to pull these pads off. Anyway, this is just a complainy video. Maybe someone out there has dealt with these and has a an idea of what to how to go about this. I'd really like to get this thing working because there's a lot I'd like to do that needs an oscilloscope and they're still pretty pricey and even then you might be buying an old one that might have problems creep up as well though I don't think it would be as hard to work on as this beast. Anyway that's it. Okay thought time tacking this on to the end. If I cannot desolder this without ruining a pad. I'm thinking this center pin, the positive pin for the capacitor, is probably the best one to ruin. And here's my thought process. The schematic really only has two connections on the positive to the capacitor. One coming from the positive side of the bridge rectifier, and then one going to the collector of this IC here. So, theoretically, if this were to get damaged somehow, I would only have to run a wire to here and run a wire to there. And then this can just be left floating. I don't have to remove this capacitor and I can just tack a new one in. That would be super ghetto and not the right way to do this repair, but it could work. I don't know. Let me know if that's something I should consider, or if that's a horrible idea, oh my god, no, stop, don't do that, what are you doing, you idiot, and so on.